So there's a lot of different types of folk songs. Um, we, we hear them in our everyday lives. You could even think about it. If you've ever sung a nursery rhyme, that's a very folk type of, of music, right? Simple uh, and used to help children learn and do the responsibilities you're supposed to do. So there's a pretty wide variety. I'm sure all of us have participated in some sort of folk dance or song practice. So um, we've seen examples of work songs. In fact, this video here, um, I don't think I've showed you yet, but in the, in the armed forces, when people are doing uh, you know, basic training or just any kind of uh, regular activity where they have to do it in a group, They'll often sing songs with a leader and a group responding to help keep in time to regulate the pace of the day. So check out this video um, and we can really see how this type of simple uh, participatory folk music helps keep people in line as they're jogging. Listen up. Listen up. Got to learn. Got to learn. New cadence. New cadence. Here we go. You can do it. You can do it. Listen up. Listen up. Stay in your step. Stay in your step. Keep moving. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. There you go. There you go. Keep clapping. 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 Right, and very, at the very end there, he says, left foot, just like that. Um, because this type of uh, music and movement practice helps people make sure they're on the correct foot, right? It helps this group really work and run together. And no one wants to think about running while they're running, right? That's why so many of us listen to music when we exercise. Um, so doing something like this helps motivate people to keep going, to keep pushing through the monotonous and perhaps even the, the dreadful. Running is dreadful to me, so maybe some of you like running, but I don't. <laughs> um, these kind of folk songs, which are which are easy to remember, to pass down. People can instantly participate, right? Notice how there's this call and response, the leader, and then the respondents here. So somebody who's never heard this song, all they have to do is respond to the leader. So that's what makes folk songs so powerful and so easily spread. Um, children's songs, of course, uh, think about, you know, clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up. Uh, I don't remember the rest. Do your part, do your share, something like that, <laughs> right? Uh, if you want to get a kid to do anything, just put it in a song and, and you're good to go. Uh, that's the way we educate, too, with these, these folk uh, songs that we pass down. Has anyone ever read <laughs> the, the notated sheet music of, of the cleanup song or Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? So, so often we learn these things by ear because it's a very folk kind of tune. Right. And then other things that are really popular are rally and protest songs. Um, think about it this way. And, and we've been seeing a lot of it in the news. When people come together for protests and rallies, these these events are usually spontaneous and you don't have enough time to hand out sheet music to each person. Right. And say, OK, learn these 20 songs that we're going to sing at the rally or protest. No, instead we use folk songs, um, songs that everybody knows, or really simple songs that people can follow along to, usually in call and response form, to encourage people to, to gather around for a common cause, um, for social awareness purposes, and, and to take action against something. So we are regularly inundated with folk songs all the time. 